Good morning. Today we're going to talk about something that not only should be of interest to car enthusiasts, but everyone really with cars in general. This is kind of a revolutionary battery technology brought to us by Anti-Gravity Batteries. Uh, what this is, is we've basically taken some of the more modern technologies that you'll find in electrical vehicles and hybrids and even your laptop and they've built a lithium car sized battery that will do a lot of great things for you. A lot of benefits over a lead acid battery or even an absorbed gas mat battery. Uh, mainly the weight. So this is a Group 51 battery. These are kind of spec'd out for a lot of Honda cars, Civics and Accords and whatnot. But we find this to be a great compromise between uh, having an extremely small battery, like this ATX 20 HD here, which this literally weighs almost nothing, and having a battery that, you know, you can run your stereo for a little while, uh, or your car can sit longer and things like that, and you don't have to kind of have some of the things that can go along with having a really tiny race battery. Um, we run this all the time in our shop car, like all year round, and it's been great. Uh, we sell a Group 51 battery hold down for the 3000 GT and Dodge Stealth, uh, but for the most part, if your car is designed for a normal like Group 25, Group 75 type battery, Group 48, uh, you'll probably be able to get one of these to work. Uh, typically, they may be just a hair wider than a lot of batteries uh, that size, but mostly they're about two inches narrower. So we'll get this box open in a second and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. But a Group 51, I feel like, is a great compromise between ultimate weight savings and reliability. Uh, this battery though, a typical Group 51 battery, type for a Honda Civic type car, uh, I think the Nissan GTR even run one from the factory as well, they weigh between 25 and 30 pounds. Uh, we used to run an Optima Yellow Top battery, which is also a really good battery, and I think they weighed about 28 pounds in this size format. This thing weighs 8 to 10, depending on which selection you choose. So this is available in two different capacities. So you can see here, this is the 30 amp hour. That's actually the larger one. Um, I don't know if I have a 24 here. No, right now both of these are 30 amp hour batteries and so there's your part number for that. Uh, we actually run a 24 amp hour battery on our Stealth over there and that works great too. So the 30 amp costs a little bit more, uh, has about 25% more capacity in case you're running your radio for extended periods of time or you wanna run a cooling fan at the track, that sort of thing. Uh, but the awesomer thing about this battery is you pretty much can't kill it, okay? We'll see right here. This battery contains two key fobs. This battery has basically a restart feature where if you ever drain this battery down to the point where the onboard diagnostics inside the battery determines that it's going dead, it will kill power. So it's like a lot of modern vehicles with a battery saver feature. Uh, I had a Ford Ranger that had that where if you left the lights on or anything, it would shut the power off, but when you go back to run the car again, you can restart it. So this thing has a similar technology. Uh, there is a button on top of the battery. There's also two key fobs that come with this, so you can just keep on your key ring. So this particular battery is for a great customer of ours called Dustin. Hopefully he doesn't mind that I'm gonna cut his sticker here. I've asked him, he's cool. Let's go ahead and cut that. We just got a shipment of these in, the small shipment here. Uh, we kind of been waiting on key fobs. So these have buttons on them. You can be inside your car, and if the battery does shut itself off to protect itself, you just push this button right there, and it resets the battery. You can see a little flashing red circle there wirelessly. So that's key to your specific battery. And there's also button here right there so you would push that if you ever if you ever have this battery drained down you push that you will have enough power to start your car again so for an enthusiast where their cars may not be driven every day uh, and you don't want to have to have it tethered to a trickle charger all the time this is a great solution not only does this weigh like 10 pounds and carry this one hand easily has this protection feature where you pretty much can't kill it I can't tell you how many times I've gotten into my enthusiast car and can't start it. I mean, it's just a fact. You know, these cars end up with parasitic drains, especially as they get older. Um, more modern cars and more electronics have parasitic drains. Uh, you let your car sit a week or two and it's dead. Not gonna happen anymore. And the great thing about that too is it's not just the inconvenience of having to jumpstart your car or put it on a charger. You're damaging the battery every single time. 
If you're running a lead acid battery, they, they basically have the sulfurication process internally and it ruins the capacity of the battery every single time you let it drain below a certain voltage. And you know that'll vary, but even if it starts getting down below 12 volts, you're actually starting to hurt that battery. So every time I get a new battery, you know, spend some good money on a good battery like an Optima, or even if you've gone to any parts store, you'll notice that most batteries are now two three hundred dollars, and that's not like it used to be when we grew up and you could get a battery for thirty forty dollars. It's a major investment to get a new battery, and if you're taking life out of that battery every single time you let the car sit, whew, it really just hurts. It hurts my feelings. And it really doesn't take a lot. Like if you kill even a really high quality battery four or five times more and more, they really lose the capacity. It just drops right off. And that is a compounding problem because every single time you reduce the capacity of that battery and you let the car sit, that period of time you can let the car sit safely is gonna to continue to drop. And so it's not just a hassle. You're throwing your money away if you have a battery like that that you don't keep on a tender all the time. And that's a solution. And a lot of people say that's, that's a great solution. Me personally, it's just not something I remember to do all the time. Um, if you have several cars, then that's another big thing you gotta do is keep buying trickle chargers and keeping them plugged in all the time. Um, this is just kind of a set and forget feature. You can't kill it. You run your fans at the track, kill the battery basically, you just click that button, fire right back up. You don't really wanna be in the staging lanes having somebody try to push start you or get you a jump. You know, it's just a really cool feature. Um, yes, these are more expensive than a traditional battery, but when you start factoring in the wear and tear you're putting on a traditional battery, I think it's really not as big of a difference as you think. Uh, if you kill a couple of the regular batteries, you're going to have the price of one of these in it. Uh, and these have a five-year warranty. So it's a great battery because it sits right in most places you want. It's, it's got normal terminals, so you don't need to run adapters for that. You can do your top post on that just like normal. Uh, and there's nothing special you have to do. You don't really have to have a different alternator, voltage regulator, or anything like that. Um, the only thing you need to do is if you do put it on a trickle charger, uh, they make some that are specifically for the lithium type batteries. Uh, C-Tech makes a really good one and I'm sure there's lots of others out there too. So just don't leave it on a regular charger because you can start to damage these batteries with that. One other thing I wanted to mention is these are already available for a popular number of group sizes. This is a group 35, which will fit a lot of domestic type vehicles. It's a little bit larger than these 51s, but it's still incredibly light here. You know, you really got all the advantages. You got a 40 amp hour battery here. Uh, so that's a little bit more power for that for reserve. And this will fit in a section that's more like your normal type of car. Um, I think there's an H6 version. If you drive like a Chevrolet Silverado like I do, uh, they have these for almost every type of application you're gonna have. And they also have them, if you really wanna go racing or you're into power sports, motorcycles, uh, jet skis, four wheelers, they have them in these sizes, it's ATX 20HD. Um, we also uh, know of a uh, Craftworks design company that is making a mount for this, for 3000 GT itself as well. So if you really want some weight savings, this is a great way to go too. Um, I think this whole battery weighs like four pounds. I mean, it's just incredible. Uh, and this will start a car. Check it out. Yeah. I'm pretty weak, so. Yeah. I mean, he's been wearing his hands out rebuilding transmissions all day, so that's pretty good. He can still lift that. I mean, I, if I have the strength in one finger to lift this, but, you know, I don't have the dexterity, perhaps. Uh, so the dimensions for all these batteries are on our website. You can kind of find what you need. Um, they aren't listed out by, like, the application. So what you can do is go look at the battery on your car, kind of see what group number it is. That's a standard, you know, BCI, battery industry, a standard size. So you can determine if one of these will work. Uh, it doesn't have to always be exact, but just kind of use some reason uh, with that. Make sure your battery you're getting is not too big uh, and that you're still going to be able to use like the secure system to put this into your car. You need to make sure these are, you know, screwed down the way they're supposed to be. Don't just let them bang around. It is, it's lithium, but it's still not going to tolerate that very much. And you can't start a fire. Uh, these are safe, reliable way to lose some weight, still have great starting power. Uh, they don't really have any of the disadvantages of having a really tiny like motorcycle or lawnmower battery on your car that's a normally lead acid battery. So I think this is a great way to go. Um, I think one of these little guys is sort of in the range of a normal battery price too. I think these are about $250, so check that out. Uh, 750 cranking amps out of this little battery. In fact, it's 780. 780 cranking amps out of this tiny little battery. That's enough to start pretty much any V8 probably, unless you got really high compression and things like that. So, 
We're getting some of these shipped out for some clients today. All these are sold. But if you need anti-gravity batteries and you want to get some revenge on dead batteries on your ride, come to revengeperformance.com. Check out the anti-gravity battery section. Revenge Performance is the place to get the parts and the advice to help right the wrongs on your vehicle. We partner with the industry leaders in parts distribution and warehousing to get you the best possible prices, the widest selection of parts, and the fastest shipping. With our real-time inventory on our website, if we say we have it in stock, it's ready to ship. From us or from our many national distribution partners. With hundreds of thousands of parts available, I guarantee we can get revenge on your ride.